Well, we're here at the 2012 Tech Tactics West, which this weekend coincided with the LA Auto Show, which of course had the world premiere of the new Cayman, which was a highly anticipated car, especially among PC enthusiasts. So one of the benefits of the uh, Tech Tactics event that we do in conjunction with Porsche is that we usually get a uh, very interesting guest speaker from the factory. And this time, because of the Cayman premiere, we got the project manager from Porsche AG on the Cayman, Jan Roth, who is going to give us a nice casual walk around, uh, a little quieter atmosphere than the LA Auto Show. Um, no journalists, we have the car to ourselves. This is actually uh, production number one. This is the uh, prototype. Um, We've had the uh, show already, the Tech Tactics event on Saturday, and this was car was swarmed, and there's a lot of people who look like they're going to go to the dealership and put the order in. So, Jan, maybe you can tell us the difference between uh, uh, the previous model and this new generation, and what was improved and what was changed, because I know that during your, your presentation, there's a slew of things that, uh, that Porsche improved upon. So why don't we start looking at, at, at the body first. Um, visually, what changed in the front? Yes, thank you. At first, uh, it's not a prototype, it's the first pre-production car. It's a different. Okay. So, what have we done with the new generation of our Cayman? We uh, improved the design, the extra design. The uh, Cayman appears now a little bit more stronger, with uh, more edges and uh, uh, strong uh, curves. in front or at the front the uh, main item are the uh, large air intakes which uh, increase from the inside to the outside and including the uh, um, day day daytime running light things <laughs> and also the position lights in the four point uh, design with the LED including and of course the uh, new stronger shoulder line with the uh, extended wheelbase uh, up to 60, millim 60 millimeters I think it's 2.4 inch or 1.6 1 inch we can cut huh? okay and uh, also the overhangs are no a little bit uh, shorter and together with the long roof which uh, ended uh, nearly to the end of the car we now have a more extended uh, silhouette of the, the Cayman and that means the Cayman looks more dynamic, more dynamic orientated. And overall, uh, together with the new features we have, they uh, cut a little bit from the save rate. We have an overall save rate by 66 pounds, it uh, depends from the models and the equipment. Okay. Well, to some people, if they're not going to be racing the car, the uh, storage is very important, especially if you go on a trip with uh, your significant other. Uh, how has the storage compartment changed from this, this year's model to last year's? Well, in the front, we have the same capacity. It's just with the same form. But we uh, did a little bit improvement in the rear lid. We have now at, uh, 15 liters more than before and I think it's a 0.53 cubic feet and uh, also we redesigned the rear compartment and uh, we continue the new advanced uh, interior line now in the rear compartment by the Cayman and Cayman S. Now the suspension, uh, how much did that change from last year's model? Uh, the suspension are completely overworked. It's uh, some parts are new and uh, most uh, a lot of them was uh, redesigned some uh, big points and some really details and overall we have a uh, you, you, you feel the different really at the first moment if you drive in the first curve so why don't we go into the uh, interior and see uh, what's changed in, in that which i believe is a lot from last year's model so we first all saw this um uh, improvement in the interior with the boxster and i think this follows suit um, but maybe you can tell the people who didn't see the boxer what was changed from last year's Cayman. Uh, of course, yes, we it's have the same uh, interior in the front, uh, uh, in the passenger room, like uh, the Boxster. And we uh, continue the uh, design line from the other models, like uh, Panamera, Cayenne, and the also the increased the council and the gear ship is now uh, in a, on a higher level, more directly uh, to the driver. Uh, the, uh, there is uh, far too... We talk about... Uh, 
The details uh, we need to improve or underline uh, the new design from the Cayman. And one of these is a new um, brake light. It's now uh, upper from the, the window. You know, the former model, it was in the, uh, in the at, uh, at the end of the window. And this underlines the width of the car. And the car is uh, all over, looks more masculine than the former model. And that's uh, one uh, detail we need to underline that. So you also, in the beginning, uh, talked about the storage improvements. And I thought this would be uh, pretty cool to show our, uh, our members. Uh, when you first look at this, um, these may look like shock tower caps or or something that's not functional, but of course everything Porsche does is functional. And if you look, you've designed it to where we have the filler caps, the oil, and we move over, we have the coolant. And so uh, everything Porsche does has a function and uh, you've made uh, things more compact, I guess, as you said. Yeah, we have a little bit more space now. I think up to 5.3 cubic feet. And uh, together we have a total capacity from uh, 15 uh, cubic feet overall, and it's, it's uh, for a sports car not bad. So I have to ask you this, but I know you won't be able to answer it. Um, Cayman R, Cayman GT in the future? So we talked about uh, yesterday about that, and we have a lot of ideas, but I don't know really. We, uh, we do that. But I, I could say with this redesign, the Cayman is going to be staying around for a while. Yes, I'm sure, I'm sure. And the improvement, especially by the dynamic from this car, is, is uh, unbelievable to the former model. We are more than 10 seconds faster on the Nürburgring with this uh, car. And one of the reasons I forgot to, to tell it is the absolutely incredible uh, rigidity from the body. We have an improvement for the torsional uh, rigidity by more than 40%. And that's uh, the reason why the car is uh, such a precise steering. You can uh, really precise steering with this car and it's a lot of fun to go to bending, uh, to uh, uh, a curvy street, like in the mountains, it's fantastic. And also with the, with the low uh, center of gravity and the center of gravity is right in the right place and uh, the most of the mass from the uh, this car is concentrated uh, in the near from the center of gravity and between the axles and that's the reason why a mid-engine coupe is such a such an incredible sports car for curvy roads. Oh, there you have it. I'm not going to put him on the spot by asking him which one's his favorite, the 911 or the Cayman, but I think from this interview you could probably tell which one he'll choose. <laughs> <laughs>